everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Sam. And this is me 23 years ago. So begins Samuel's pitch, one that's crucial to get right. Along with his team, he's designed a smartphone app for UNICEF, judging him a panel of potential clients. Although this is a competition, this pitch is as demanding as one in the real world. You're a tech startup, you know, you'll be pitching to hundreds and thousands of investors. So this is, this is as close as it can get. Preparing for their pitch is Team Jace. Like Samuel, they are all postgraduate students at the Meltwater Entrepreneurial School of Technology. The school funds and fosters the best of Ghana's young business talent. Although still catching up with the likes of East and South Africa, these 25-year-olds see West Africa as a growing marketplace for tech startups. The internet penetration in Ghana is increasing, smartphone penetration are increasing, people are, are beginning to know what, are already using apps from the, the, the Western world. And so if teams and more startups emerge from Ghana and Africa as a whole and come up with apps that solve local problems, definitely there will be a great, huge market for them. The Ghanaian government seems equally confident. It's called 2014, the year of action with regards to information and communications technology. That means putting more money into infrastructure, which is key if tech startups are to flourish in Ghana. You need to have adequate infrastructure in terms of servers to store your applications and store user information. But the biggest challenge that they face is are they able to afford the cost of sending um, these broadband connections dedicated to their offices um, to, you, to have a full access to that bandwidth? They are not able to pay for that. High startup costs mean any seed money is welcome, like the cash prize given to the winners here. But for a long-term future, these entrepreneurs need more than one-off big checks. They need continued investment in tech infrastructure to give them a fighting chance against international competition. Katerina Vatotsi, the CCTV in Accra, Ghana.